This should be played at high volume, preferably in a residential area. What's up YouTube? It's your boy Raheem the Rabbit back at it again with another reaction video and welcome to the rabbit hole. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, I ask you guys to please hit that like button and smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can get alerted when I upload new content. Definitely enjoying this organic climb and every hundred subscribers, we're definitely going to do a live stream. So I want to say uh, thank you to all the new subscribers to the channel. So without further ado, we will be reacting to this video in three, two, one. Coming in from the DeSoto County Sheriff's PIO, this 19 year old right here, Ezekiel Kelly, he has been arrested. He is right now in police custody. This all ended at the intersection of Ivan and Hodge tonight. What we know is it wasn't that long ago that he somehow made it from the Memphis area. He made it all the way down to South Haven. He was able to carjack someone. He got another car. I believe it was a Dodge Challenger at mm -hmm. that point. Came back up into the Memphis area off of I-55. Somehow got off near the Reigns area and ended up at Ivan and Hodge. That's where he wrecked last and that's where he is now in custody. Matter of fact, let's take you live to that location right now as close as we could get. We have pictures. That's okay. Yeah, we can get to this it. This is obviously we'll shaky video. We've got Fox 13. She Kate just Beery, got to the scene. Who just got to that scene. I don't know if Kate's ready or not. Oh, okay. Kate is ready. Kate, I know you just got there, but please just tell us what you see. Walk us through what you see right now. Yeah, Daryl, there are dozens of law enforcement officers all around us. You can see two approaching us right now in bulletproof vests. We're on Sullivan and Hodge. This is about four blocks south of Ivan and Hodge, where police warn the public to avoid. We have that suspect now in custody, that 19-year-old shooter who police say was shooting at random locations across Memphis. Again, look at this. We have dozens, too many to count, law enforcement officers all across this road. This is Sullivan and Hodge, about four blocks south of where police confirm or where authorities confirm that that 19 year old shooter is now in custody. This is such a fluid, rapidly evolving situation. It has been all night, but you are confirming that that suspect is now in custody. We just arrived literally 30 seconds ago on scene. There are multiple police officers all around us. You could see they're moving in, but authorities say that that 19 year old suspect is now in custody. This neighborhood, you see people standing outside of their cars, standing on their porches, just waiting to learn exactly what happened tonight. I mean, I, you know, as a, I've been a reporter for five years. I've never seen this many law enforcement officers on a scene. They're driving all around us. They're walking up and down the street. Police confirm, authorities confirming that that suspect is in custody four blocks north. We have been following multiple scenes all night. We just arrived here. Again, this is Sullivan and Hodge, four blocks south of where police say they took that suspect into custody. When we were driving here on the roads, we noticed that there weren't many cars out and about because of that citywide lockdown. But thankfully, authorities are confirming that they now have that 19 year old suspect in custody after a very frightening day across all of Memphis. Again, we just arrived here about 30 seconds ago. The neighborhood, aside from all of the police activity, is fairly quiet. You see people on their porches. You see them checking social media everywhere we've been today from the auto zone. People were just 
cornering around or watching each other's phones, just watching the suspect and his live stream of the attack. So it's a very fluid situation, but you are confirming that that suspect is now in custody. So surely people in this neighborhood breathing a sigh of relief after authorities warned everyone to shelter in place. Again, we just arrived moments ago. There's still a lot we're working to learn about this investigation, but the good news is, is that authorities say that 19-year-old suspect now in custody. Darcy, Daryl.